Hey, do you know that magnetic poles of the Earth do not match geographic poles? Indeed, the Earth generates a magnetic field that acts like a giant bar magnet. This magnetic field comes from the electric currents in the Earth's molten outer core. And before to measure it, I have two things I dare you to remember about magnetic fields. First, the magnetic field can be represented as a flux from the North Pole to the South Pole. Then, moving charges such as a current generate a magnetic field. Ok, with this knowledge validated, we can now measure it. And for the moment, I am in Louvain-la-Neuve, a small city in the south of Brussels, and I have a magnetic field sensor. My sensor uses a current flowing in a semiconductor. When a magnetic field is introduced, it interacts with the magnetic flux of my current, and the electrons of my current are deflected. This creates a voltage difference in the sensor known as the all voltage. This voltage is linked to the intensity and also the direction of the magnetic field. My sensor is directly giving me the magnetic field in Gauss. Roughly, if I'm positioning the surface toward Brussels, the geographic north pole direction, the magnetic flux is going in that direction and I have more or less 0.3 Gauss, but it's quite sensitive. If I'm turning the sensor, the all voltage induced by the Earth's magnetic field is reversed and the sensor is giving me a negative value. Now, if I'm positioning the sensor toward east, the value is decreasing to zero. It is expected because the flux lines are now parallel and they are not affecting the current of my sensor. In summary, I measured the magnetic field like this, and if I do it at the equator, the field measured will be weaker. If you remember what I said earlier, moving charges create a magnetic field. Therefore, if I'm flowing a current in wires in coils, like uh, just behind, I can create a uniform magnetic field in between. What is really interesting with that is that if I'm increasing the current, I'm also increasing the magnetic field. Here I have 0.4 amperes and this is creating a magnetic field of 23 Gauss. If I'm increasing the current to 0.8 amperes, I'm reaching 40 Gauss. This is an electromagnet with an iron structure wherein two coils and helping guiding the magnetic flux line. In conclusion, that's quite easy to create a magnetic field that is stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. It's all you, it's no use, no.